Okay, so what's going on right now is I just got done hooking up my third and last output for the solar system that I built to help offset some electricity costs. I just hooked up the entertainment center, which is in the living room, that's our home theater, uh, to the feed. And I'm right now running it full, full on 1000 watts, 30 amps. So it's running at the absolute highest limit because I had this thing discharged to 10% and now I'm quick charging it. Normally just trickle charges because just like the, the computer and the server rack, they don't have to run since they stay charged, since they're permanently connected, they don't have to run a thousand watts at all times because they just need a little bit of power here and there. So now I've got the, the last one hooked up but unlike the other two, which are in my office, so they're rather short wire runs, this is the longest wire run, and I just wanna make sure that we're, we're safe, that there's no thermal runaway. So we can see the server rack is pulling 1,000 watts. We just saw that on the app. And then the one in the living room is pulling 1,000 watts, so we have 2,000 watts of power going out right now. And they're the, the same heat, so that's good. This this temperature is actually very, very, very good. It it looks bright red and it looks scary, but that's because this is set to automatic mode, so it just picks relevant temperatures. Right now you can see that these aren't even hot or warm. The highest temperature we read was 87 degrees Fahrenheit, so you know they look like they're glowing red hot. You can see my hand is, is hotter by comparison. So here's the source, it goes up and out. And to my studio that I never got to use, which is sad, um, because just too much stuff, um, painting stuff, lights, charging station, like, so I had got the green screen and all that, never got to use it. It's going to end up turning into uh, storage. <laughs> Here's my wire run here. Also good to go. Absolutely no temperature issues. And lastly would be here behind, make sure our MC4 connections and all that, that there's no uh, voltage drop causing heat. And it looks like there's not. Everything here is running perfectly well. No heat issues at all. So I can run a thousand watts out here to this. So a thousand watts to this theater setup, a thousand watts to the server rack and in my office, a you know, thousand watts to the computer setup. So 3000 watts of output. I found a place to add three more solar panels and I might add one more battery. Uh, right now, currently, I'm offsetting about one third of the house's electrical cost with just these two. And with adding the theater in there, I'll pretty much be able to use up all my solar and we'll be closer to two fifths. But I'm happy with that. But you can see what happened today. My, my yield was very low today and that's because the battery system hit 100 percent rather early in the day and it wasn't even a sunny day today because the server rack alone can't draw enough power if i'm working from home the computer uses up the power i need but when i'm not working from home i hit 100 percent way too easy so with the delta units since they all have their own 1000 watt hour battery built into them i have them set to discharge to say five percent ten percent just enough power so that they act as UPSs, and I get the uh, 10, 15 millisecond switch over time, so if the power flashes out, none of my equipment goes off. I can tell you that was the main thing that even started this, because we were watching TV and watching a movie, and power would go out, and we'd have to wait for everything to restart, and it would suck. Buying regular UPSs, they don't last very long. The batteries have to be replaced. They're, they don't have very much um, lifespan on the batteries and on how long they keep your equipment up and running. So now that I've replaced UPSs with the Deltas, we could literally have the power go out in the middle of a two-hour movie, and there's enough power in that to watch the two-hour movie. <laughs> and now that I'm feeding them off of a bigger battery, basically we, we have unlimited power as long as I have enough solar. So that's how it's all working out, but we hit 100% today and lost some yield. So on a day like today where I was working outside and I'm not using my computer and I'm not using the entertainment center, I'll purposely leave one of those discharged to 5% and whenever I need to dump some power, 
I'll just turn on, say, the theater feed, and I have a thousand watt hours I can dump out of the system to prevent waste. So that's what the third feed is mostly for. Basically, a server rack will always be on, the computer will always be on, but when I'm not working from home, I'll dump some power to the theater. So that's the setup for now. And I still have to do my full coverage on everything, but haven't gotten there yet.